There are certain signs and cosines you are expected to know. And we'll just run through those real quick. You should know or be able to quickly find out the signs and cosines of any angle that lies on an axis. Zero radians, which is also zero degrees, puts us here on the unit circle. The sine is zero, the cosine is one. Pi over two radians. 90 degrees puts us here. Now it's the sine that's one, the cosine that's zero. Pi radians, that's 180 degrees. That puts us here. The sine is zero, the cosine is negative one. Three pi over two radians. That's 270 degrees. It puts us down here, the sine is negative one, the cosine is zero. And now we're back where we started. Two pi radians puts us here again. That's a full 360 degree rotation. The sine is zero. The cosine is one. There are three other angles whose sines and cosines are expected to know. And I'm just going to give these to you. Your textbook probably has proofs if you want to see them. But pi over four radians, that's 45 degrees. The sine and the cosine are both the square root of two divided by two. Then pi over six radians, that's 30 degrees. The sine of pi over six is one half. The cosine is the square root of three divided by two. Then a pi divided by three looks similar to pi divided by six, except that the sine and the cosine are reversed. <laughs> 